Welcome back. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan. Carlo Cicchetto is off. You may have heard the term COVID lung. It's used to refer to the long-term damage COVID-19 can have on someone's lungs. Well, tonight, UC San Diego medical experts are giving us a closer look at how the vaccine plays a role in preventing severe lung damage. Okay, on the left is an x-ray of a vaccinated person with COVID. On the right is an unvaccinated person who contracted the virus. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on these two images, the stark differences and the message doctors hope these images send. I spoke with a radiologist here at UCSD. He says these images show just how well the vaccine works and he hopes by releasing them, more people will get vaccinated. On the left is an x-ray showing the lungs of a young vaccinated woman with COVID. On the right, the lungs of an older unvaccinated man who has the virus. The cloudy white areas show severe damage, specifically pneumonia caused by COVID. Meanwhile, the woman's x-ray has more black, indicating little to no damage at all. The vaccinated patient, the x-ray looks almost pristine. That's essentially what a normal person's lungs should look like. Right, exactly. Dr. Albert Chow is a radiologist at UC San Diego. He and his colleagues have studied the x-rays of more than a thousand COVID patients. More often than not, he says those with severe illness wind up with long-term effects on their lungs. Some will never recover. They often are short of breath. They can't uh, walk long distances. Similar symptoms to patients who have uh, chronic lung disease or chronic smokers or uh, have heart disease. They're not able to walk very far. They're very debilitating. But Dr. Shao and other health experts say that can be avoided by getting the vaccine. A recent CDC study revealed vaccines are 96% effective in preventing severe illness that require hospitalization. In the case of these two x-rays, the vaccinated woman with COVID went straight home. The unvaccinated man is still in the hospital. I hope people will, will begin to realize that um, they have the opportunity to make the right choice uh, to get vaccinated and reduce the risk of getting a severe infection. It could save the, their own life. It could save the lives of family members or friends or their neighbors. And by the way, that man has been in the hospital for about two weeks now. Experts say it's important for all eligible people to get vaccinated, even if you've already had COVID-19.